Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Today we are going to introduce to combination and we will learn how it is different from permutation. I hope you have already watched videos of permutations and today uh, after that we are going to introduce combinations and you will be able to understand what is the difference between these two. So let me uh, introduce today combination. <coughs> combination. Combination means selection. Selection. How it is different from permutation? Permutation, what we have learned earlier. It means arrangement. Arrangement. So in arrangement, <coughs> change in order. Change in order will change the arrangement. Change the arrangement. In combination, change in order will not change the selection. Will not change the selection. The selection. Change in order will not change the selection. For example, A, B and B, A is only one selection. Only one selection. A, B and B are only one selection. In Indian cricket team, whether Ravindra Jadeja has selected first or R. Ashwin has selected first, nobody bothered about this. They are bothered about whether someone has selected or not selected. So in order of selection, nobody will ask ki kaun pehle select hua, kaun baad mein select hua. Aap pehle shirt pehne ki pehle pent pehne. Roti dal khaye hai, pehle roti khaye ki dal khaye. Iska koi matlab nahi hai. Pehle kaun, baad mein kaun. Isse koi fark nahi padta. Lekin, as far as concern with the arrangements, change in order will change the arrangement. A, B and B, A are two different arrangements. Two different arrangements. Different arrangements. A, B and B, A are two different arrangements. So therefore, here order is very important. In the permutation, here as in selection, order is not important at all. Here P N R or N P R means that is a combination. So here first I write C C N R N C R means out of N things select R things at a time. Select R things at a time. Whereas in NPR, PMR or it can be written like NPR means out of N things arrange R things at a time. R things at a time. So here the formula for NCR is NCR is N factorial that can be written like N factorial upon R factorial N minus R factorial. Whereas NPR is N factorial upon N minus R factorial. So it is a clear indication that NPR is nothing else but it is NPR is R factorial times 
times of NCR. So if I multiply here R factorial times NCR, then this is NPR. Means for logical development, one can understood like this. First we can select R items, then we can arrange R items. That is also possible. Instead of arranging them R items at a time, we can select first R items and thereafter we can arrange them. This is also possible. So these two will give the clear difference between permutation and combination. In permutation, change in order will change the selection. But in combination, change in order will not change the selection. Right? Change in order will not change the selection at all. So, combination is something different than the permutation. Now, the burning question is that, how one can know that whether the permutation formula is to be applied or combination formula is to be applied or how can we know that whether the question belongs to permutation or combination? To know that, there is a sense in the question by which you can analyze. But often it is very can not often it is not clear. There are first two significant words which will give you the idea whether the question belongs to permutation or question belongs to combination. Whenever there is a word selection is given in the question, it means this question belongs to combination. Whenever there is a word arrangement is given, how many ways it can be arranged, then this is a question of permutation. So arrangement is the question of permutation and selection is the question of combination. But whenever there is, an, it is not clear about in the beginning that whether this question belongs to permutation or combination, then depending upon the requirement, you can first select apply the formula for combination and thereafter if you think that rearrangement can interchange the position or interchange, change in order will change the selection, then we need to multiply by R factorial as well. So permutation and combination, <coughs> both are working in the same domain. Dono ek hi hai, thoda sa farak ye hai ki jahan par arrangement hogi, wahan par R factorial se multiply kar denge. Otherwise, the thing is almost same whether the change in order or there is change in order not taken into consideration. This is the basic two different things that whether order is material or whether order is immaterial. Change in order is material or change in order, in order is immaterial. That is, change in order ko dhyan mein rakhna hai, change in order ko dhyan mein nahi rakhna hai. So this is what and that all about permutation how different than the combination. First we had already discussed the permutation. If you are not aware about all those, then please watch the videos of permutation first and thereafter you try to learn combination. It will be easier and convenient to you as well. So here we are looking for some more discussion about combination. So let me start few things about the combination. Uh, we are going to start and we are going to discuss about the combination. In permutation, we have hardly used the formula of NPR, but in combination, we will widely use the formula of NCR to satisfy the questions and to answer the questions. So let me describe NCR is N factorial upon R factorial N minus R factorial. And meaning is out of N things select R things at a time. Suppose you have visited to someone place and they ask you to whether you prefer tea or coffee and you are saying no thanks. Agar aap chai coffee peete nahi, then what will you say? You will say no thanks. In that case, out of 
टू आइटम्स यू हैव टू सिलेक्ट जीरो आइटम टू में से जीरो सिलेक्ट कर रहे हो ना चाय पीना चाह रहे हैं ना कॉफी पीना चाह रहे ना इधर यू वॉन्ट टू टेक टी नॉर यू वॉन्ट टू टेक कॉफी इन दैट केस आउट ऑफ टू यू आर सिलेक्टिंग जीरो एंड जस्ट से नो थैंक्स हाउ मेनी मेज यू कैन से नो थैंक्स वन वी राइट ना दो में से एक भी ना सिलेक्ट करने का तरीका एक होता है There is only one way in which you can say no selection. But as per this formula, it should be two factorial divided by zero factorial, two minus zero factorial because in place of r there is zero. So that should be one. Two factorial, zero factorial, two factorial is one. Two factorial, two factorial cancel. One upon zero factorial is one. This is possible if and only zero factorial is one. So in the beginning of permutation class, we have discussed this that zero factorial is one. Now today I am answering this question: Why zero factorial is one? Zero factorial one? Why is it? This question's answer will be available. Or you can think of another way. Five C five. Five from five to five to five to select five. If you have five things and all five are to be selected, how many ways you can do that? All five. Five person appear for interview and there are five post vacants and all five are to be selected. How many ways one can select? क्या कहेंगे? चलो जो भी यहाँ पे है सबके सब आ जाओ, पांचों के पांचों आ जाओ क्योंकि पांच जगह खाली है. So five out of five can be selected how many ways? Five out of five can be selected one way only. How is that? Let me discuss this. Uh, again on the basis of this formula that can be written as 5 factorial in place of r there is 5 so we can write 5 factorial again but in place of n and r both are 5 so I can write 5 minus 5 factorial and that is also equal to 1 so 5 factorial and 5 factorial cancels out 1 upon 0 factorial is 1 that also give the logic that 0 factorial is 1 because without zero factorial is one, it cannot be equal to one. So you think about that, zero factorial is one. Five out of five can be selected one way. Means in literal sense, we can say n c n, n out of n can be selected how many ways? One way. All of them are to be selected. Sab ko select karna hai. If there are 15 cricket players in a team, and Dhoni asks, Virat Kohli now, ask that, only 11 of them are fit for play. So what will they say? Is there any mind in the selection? No, 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 no. He will ask, guys, those who are well, those who can play today cricket, please come in the ground. The many people who are sitting here, four of them are unfit to play. Only 11 of them are fit to play. And for playing cricket, 11 people want to play. Then what he will say? He will say, those guys who are well, those who are feeling well, those who are fit for play today, all of them just report to the ground. Sab log a jaye, koi selection me dimaag lagane ki jarurat nahi hai. Sare ka sare sab ko gula lega. Ki sab log a jao, aaj khelte hai. To NCN is 1. NCN is 1. On the basis of this formula, even we can prove this. N factorial upon R in place of R, then N factorial, N minus N factorial. Now you can write N factorial, N factorial cancel. And what is left there? In numerator 1 and 0 factorial is 1. So 1 by 1 is 1. So N C N is 1. N C 0 can be calculated in similar way. N factorial divided by 0 factorial, N minus 0 factorial. And that will be also n factorial upon 0 factorial, n factorial cancel. And what is that? 1. Because 0 factorial is 1. So remember, nc0 is 1, ncn is also 1. Means nc0 is equal to ncn is equal to 1. Remember this fact? nc0, ncn both are equal to 1. Out of n, select 0 items in one way. Out of n, select all n items in one way. There is no other option. nc0 means 1. ncn means 1. So, application wise, we can do this. 2, 0 is 
3C01, 5C01, etc. Right? Similarly, 4C4 is 1, 7C7 is 1, 10C10 10 is 1, right? And CN is 1. So therefore, we can write like this. Now, moreover, NC1 is N. And NCN minus 1 is also N. I remember this. And this will be useful as well. So remember this. NC1 is N. How is that? NC1 is N factorial upon 1 factorial N minus 1 factorial. Further, it can be written as n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial upon n minus 1 factorial. That will be cancelled. So, what is left? n. Similarly, we can also prove this n c n minus 1 is n. So, for application wise, here we can write 2 c 1 is 2, 3 c 1 is 3, 5 c 1 is 5, right? 3 c 2 is 3. 4C3 is equal to 4, 7C6 is equal to 6, 7, etc. Right? A come ho yaha pe, just one less. A come 4, 3, 3, 2, 7, 6, to answer kya hoga? 7. Bigger one will be answer. Like this. One more thing you may memorize in your mind. NC2 is N into N minus 1 by 2. 2. Right? Na? Similarly, n c3 is equal to n into n minus 1, n minus 2 upon 3 into 2. 3 into 2 into 1, you can say, and 2 into 1. Like 3 factorial and 2 factorial. So, this is what to do and what you can learn. It means, we can conclude from this that jitna hoga yaha 3 hai, if there is a 3, then we will write up to three steps in decreasing order and in denominator we will write three also in decreasing order. It means nc2 then write two step decreasing order n into n minus 1. n into n minus 1. n or say come divided by 2 into 1. Take it? 2 into 1. So, this way we can do it. The amount of 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 the amount why I am doing all these things? Because you will, once you will be familiar, then thereafter we will write it directly. Ek baar jab aap six jayenge, to uske baar hume se sidhe sidhe likhwaenge, direct result likhenge, to aapko dikkat nahi hogi. Isliye abhi hum is itna emphasis is pe de rahe hain ki aap isse sikhe. Ten C three can be calculated like three step decreasing order upon three into two into one. Three three ja nine. 2, 4, 8, 4, 3, 12, 12, 10, 1, 20. Similarly, if someone is written 9, C, 4. Kitna step decreasing order will be written? How many step I should write here in decreasing order? 9 into 8 into 7 into 6. 4 step decreasing order. And thereafter 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 4, 2, 8, 3, 2, 3, 9. Right? And now 7, 6 are 42 and 42 into 3 is 126. So like that we can write. Okay. Now 7C4. What will be that? 7C4 is 7 into 6 into 5 into 4. In denominator we can write 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So 4, 4 cancel, 3 to the 6 cancel and what is the answer? 35. 7C3 can be also written as 7 into 6 into 5 upon 3 into 2, 3 into 2 into 1, that is 36. This is also 35. So, one remarkable point is here that 7C4 is equal to 7C3. Similarly, if you will calculate 8C5 must be equal to 8C3, 
आप कैलकुलेट करके इसे देख सकते हैं चेक करके देख सकते हैं क्यों ऐसा हो रहा है कब बराबर होगा वेन दे आर इक्वल टू फोर प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू सेवन देन देयर वैल्यू मस्ट बी इक्वल फाइव प्लस थ्री इज एट देन देयर वैल्यू मस्ट बी इक्वल रिमेंबर हेयर जीरो प्लस एन इज एन देन देयर वैल्यू मस्ट बी इक्वल वन प्लस एन माइनस वन विल बी एन देन देयर वैल्यू मस्ट बी इक्वल टू वैल्यू मस्ट बी इक्वल सो वी कैन कंक्लूड That NCR must be equal to NCN minus R. This is the formula which we can analyze. NCR must be equal to NCN minus R. NCR must be equal to NCN minus R. This is the formula. If you we learn this, we have so many calculation. Turn into easiest steps. How is that? Let me explain. And let me prove this also. NCR is n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial. This is the definition, right? NC n minus r is n factorial upon n minus r factorial into n minus n minus r factorial. So in that case, this will be n factorial, n minus r factorial, and that will remain n minus n plus r factorial, n n cancel. So that is same. R factorial left from here, r factorial, n minus r factorial. These two are multiplication. Dono multiply ho rahe hain. Change in order will not change the multiplication, right? Change in order will not change the multiplication. It means ये n फैक्टोरियल है ये r फैक्टोरियल है ये n माइनस आर फैक्टोरियल है और यहां भी यही चीज है तो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड वन कैन से फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड आर एच एस ऑफ बोथ आर इक्वल एंड देर फोर एल एच एस ऑल्सो इक्वल एंड दिस फॉर्मूला होल्ड गुड एन सी आर इज इक्वल टू एन सी एन माइनस आर ठीक है आई होप आपको समझ में आ रही बात तो अब अगला चीज क्या है वो देखते हैं राइट वॉट वी द नेक्स्ट थिंग इन विच आई कैन एनालाइज दिस सपोज समन हैज टू राइट ट्वेल्व सी के देन देर आर टू वेज इन विच ही कैन एनालाइज इधर ही विल गो विद फॉर्मूला या तो फॉर्मूला से जाए या ये कर समझ ले अगर फॉर्मूला अभी हमने सीखा जो कि एन सी आर एन सी एन माइनस आर यानी इन दोनों का सम मिलके कितना होना चाहिए ट्वेल्व टेन है तो यहां क्या होना चाहिए टू ट्वेल्व सी टू ताकि टेन प्लस टू मिलके क्या हो जाए ट्वेल्व और ट्वेल्व सी टू कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड एज टू लिखा है दो बार घटते हुए लिखो नीचे दो को घटते हुए लिखो और आंसर क्या हो गया सिक्सटी सिक्स एट सी सेवन टेन सी सेवन कैन बी इक्वल टू कैलकुलेटेड लाइक टेन सी थ्री वाई बिकॉज सेवन प्लस थ्री कितना होता है टेन और इस हिसाब से इसको तीन बार Nine, eight, three, two, one, three. Can two cancel this side? Three cancel this side, and answer is one twenty. So if somebody has to calculate seven C five, instead of that he will calculate seven C two, and seven C two is seven into six by two, that is twenty one. If eight C seven is to be calculated, eight C one one can calculate, and eight C one is eight. So answer will be easier, right? मतलब ये कि जब भी आपको कैलकुलेशन करनी होगी तो ये कैलकुलेशन बहुत आसान हो जाएगा अगर आप ये फॉर्मूला लगाएंगे तो ये फॉर्मूला कैसे हुआ ये अभी हमने यहाँ प्रूफ करके दिखा दिया है वैसे भी प्रूफ करके दिखा दिया है और ऐसे भी वेरीफाई करके दिखा दिया है कि ये फॉर्मूला ऐसे होता है Suppose somebody has to calculate nine c nine, which must be equal to nine c zero, because zero plus nine is equal to nine, and n c zero is one. अगर आप एक भूल भी गए हैं, even though you forget one of them, then you will be able to analyze the remaining one, right? So one can calculate. Remember, most of the times it will be used n c two die n into n minus one die two factorial of two. Two factorial is also two, and sometimes it will be used maximum times n c 
3 n c 3 is nothing else n into n minus 1 n minus 2 upon 3 factorial that is 3 into 2 into 1 and n c 2 is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial so remember like this it will be easier or you can learn like this that n c 3 agar ho to 3 bar 3 times decreasing order will ho write in decreasing order 3 times and there are to write 3 in decreasing order as well this and this are the same thing this is nothing else not different at all 10 c 2 10 into 9 by 2 this is also the same thing and therefore we can write answer 45 so I hope you learn the basic calculations basic numericals on combinations how to deal with combinations, how it is different from the permutations and how the operation can be made, what the main things you need to learn it from the combinations, few steps are there, few words are there which you need to learn like nc0 is 1, ncn is 1, nc1 is n like this, nc2 is n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial, even though this all can be derived from the given formula in CR but I request you people to learn this, memorize this because it will, it will have great help to solve all the questions in quick seconds of time. So it will be better, right? So be patient and learn this step by step. We will discuss some more good questions in the next class after the break and uh, we will see how combination works and what are the uses in our everyday life. So it is very very interesting topic you know. So combination is also very interesting topic and we will discuss in the next session that what is combinations and how it will be huge in our everyday life and how combination can be uh, combination can be made for the different given restricted uh, value or restricted things. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for watching. God bless. Keep it up.